Hello YouTube, one more time. On today's video, I wanna share with you guys something that happened to this Audi. This is a, was off of a 2004 Audi A4 1.8 turbo. It's got tons of miles, 200 plus thousand miles to be exact. So this was expected. Um, this is the chain tensioner that goes on the back of the head uh, by the firewall. And so this thing basically uh, just took the L to put it slightly. Now, um, there are some of the components. But, uh, this is not what I want to talk about. Yes, this was the source of the problem and it was addressed and that problem got solved. Now, the one thing I want to talk about is that all the debris that falls off from the tensioner it goes all the way down to the oil pan and that is going to cause the oil pump to get clogged up so i i don't know to have i do not have the debris that i pulled out of the mm, oil pump strainer the oil pump strainer is it's available i believe it cost about forty dollars original from audi i'm not sure to be honest but there is aftermarket options i strongly suggest to be prepared with a new stranger this trainer i'm sorry um if this ever happens to you especially if you have low pressure oil pressure like or low pressure indications you know like a warning on the dashboard you hear some noises or you know if you have access to the uh, oil gauge equipment then you can measure oil pressure i did not replace the oil pump because the new oil pump that i ordered was from peerberg peerberg is a very respectable brand and i have trusted for so many years you know when it comes to german cars I, I, I believe they're, they're producing good quality parts, but this pump looked, I wanna, I wanna say it was a okay quality, but it wasn't what I was expecting from them. They were normally made in somewhere in Europe. Um, and this one clearly say made in China. So I, I couldn't trust that because there was a lot of labor involved on this. And so I just, I just didn't have the time nor the uh, to wait for the replacement part, so I just went ahead and and clean up the strainer and you and see what happens. Because at that stage, I would know for certain if the oil pump was damaged or not. After I removed the strainer from the vehicle, obviously I had to remove the pan and part of the suspension had to come off, and it was a, it's a big job. So. Once that happened, I after that uh, cleaned up the debris inside the strainer and, you know, I installed it back hoping for the best. Um, the only thing I believe I, 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 I replaced was the seal around the, between the strainer and the oil pump. There's a small O-ring similar to this guy over here. Let me show you this. Um... It's similar to this and so that I did took care of that and that was it that was the only thing I did replace actually it was similar to this other ordering that's the same same ordering same same size but this is the original color the green ones this we know that they are meant for oil on a German car world uh, so and this is the replacement now they're using this type of uh, graphite cover uh, o-rings but anyways so yeah, if you have a 1.8 turbo that uh, has a chain tensioner failure, just know that this could happen to your vehicle and be aware of this. This is something that you know happens over time. You can start with uh, rattling or something like that and or some codes related to this. But um, this is the timing chain actuator this is the electronic part, the electric part.
the electric portion. So this is a solenoid and the solenoid allows the oil to pass through the passage and allowing the tensioner to expand. So, you know, you can start experiencing that type of codes or warnings. Um, but just know that if you address it when on the early stages, you could save yourself from some misery and some more expensive repairs. But like I said, the strainer is not, not that expensive and you can clean it up, but it, it's a tedious task. Anyways, the video is getting long. Uh, thanks for watching. Until next time.